Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant and we are back for some more Pillars of Eternity with the Triple Crown difficulty settings. So in the previous episode we ended up not going to the White March DLC, I stayed in our main campaign area to complete some of the stuff that we still had to do. In this case we are going over our bounties. So last time we finished up this wave of bounties, all of these four in the same episode, and we are now about to talk to Warden Firgen to see what other bounties he has. Hail and well met. Good hunting, I hope. What can I do for you? What are the most recent bounties? He browses through a stack of parchment. Claimed, claimed... Ah, here we are. Let me see. There's some ranger causing trouble out in the wilds. Then there's Galen Dalgard, slaver. Not exactly popular around here. Then there's some kind of cult, looks like. And here's one I haven't seen in a while, a while, Captain Mwarumi, the pirate. Okay, well, I'll go after this ranger. The ranger Fomina has been waging an, a one-woman campaign of terror against travelers passing through wooden plains. Survivors report that she feeds her victims to the pack of wild animals that travel with her. Ugh. A lot of folks would be glad to hear she's been dealt with. Tell me about Galen Dalgard. This one's got teeth. Galen Dalgar, the slaver. He and his friends have been spotted at Madmar Bridge. None of the local authorities are willing to touch him because he's got powerful connections back in Edir. But some nameless soul is willing to put coin down to see Galen breeds his last. It says it's personal. Okay, and what's this about a cult? I'm not sure what to make of this one. Something about a murderous cult of druids led by a man Pogra. Ooh, this one I don't like. The creature goes by Nevwen, and it looks like she and her followers have set up in a cave in the Northweld. So Northweld would probably be another area that got upscaled with, with my level. So th this could be dangerous. <clears throat> now I'll hunt down this pirate. Captain Warumi mainly goes after Valiant vessels, and his crew just made landfall at Anzlok's compass. Not sure how long he's planning on staying, but this is your chance to take him down before he sets sail again. Okay, so we got four new bounties, four new tasks, and I think the only one that I that I'm kind of afraid of is the Menpogra. All right then. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce the name, but that's how I do it. <laughs> because it's in an area that got upscaled. The other ones I don't think should be upscaled. I'm not sure. Let me look again at the, um, the locations. So Fomina is Wooden Plains, Anslok's Compass, Northweld, and the Madmar Bridge. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, uh, excuse me? Oh, okay. So... Ah, so Wooden Plains, Madmar Bridge, Anslok's Compass, and then Northweld. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go one, two, three. Yes. Ah, I should have rested. I forgot to rest. Oh well. I think it'll be fine. Uh, Sagani finishes an escort. Okay, sure. Okay, I'm 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 perfectly fine in terms of spells, so all right then. Not scared. I think he's over here inside this cave. From what I remember, let me check the quest. Uh, uh, it doesn't say. Okay, but I think he's inside. If he's not here, then they should be over here, because it's really the only open area for a large fight, I would say. Let's see if my memory serves. Ooh, okay, yeah, it does serve. That's a lot of people. This looks to me like... I was, I was gonna say rogues, but they have small shields. The Ondrites are probably priests. This guy is an Omawa. Probably a ranger because he has a... 
what's the name? Why can't I never remember these names? He has an Arquebus. And why do I have a normal Arquebus on my back? At least have a fine one. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay. That's a Barbarian it looks. Okay, we're gonna find out soon. So I want to position like this. Hey. I think I will want Kana to off tank because this is a very large area. And let's just pull them in. Okay, pew pew. So you're gonna stay where you are. You are gonna buff us up. You are gonna buff up. You can move a little bit closer. <gasps> and let's see what we have. Yeah, so we have... What? We have two priests that are that are aiming a pillar of faith on top of their own allies, which doesn't make any sense to me. We have two barbarians. We have what looks to be either a chanter or a ranger. I'm guessing these two are fighters. This looks like a scimitar, and this is a, these are two rogues. Okay, <clears throat> so that's fine. That's fine. Hey. Okay. So, they're gonna engage over here. You can also go over there. Yeah, I mean, why are they hitting their own friends? I don't understand this. The game is just going nuts, I think. <laughs> That's my only explanation. I'm gonna focus on the cutthroats. Um, you're gonna get the vigorous defense. You are gonna start shooting... Maybe this guy, if you have the range for it. Let's see if he does. And you are gonna get a chill fog, the usual stuff. Man, chill fog with rod of pale shades, where every crit stuns is amazing. Okay, let's slow this down. I already have enough for an amplified wave. I love it. Let's debuff with the painful interdiction. I'm guessing I'm very far away, so I think I'll just start aiming at somebody close by, like this guy. Why, where are you going, man? Just stay there. Knock him down. Okay, it did not mess up the chill fog, so that's okay. We're gonna get one, two, three books over there. We're gonna get an amplified wave, and that's all. Where are you going? No, they're just they're just moving around in there for some very strange reason. And I think right now I should be able to reach the captain. Let's get some extra accuracy. Amplified wave being amazing as usual. I'm gonna redirect my book over here. There we go. Okay, now the priests are coming in. <laughs> this was very strange. This was extremely strange. You just back Much up. For you. Yeah, roar, roar. I don't care. You can roar all you want. The grieving mother, I would like her to focus on... The cutthroat. Should be the, the least armored target. Uh, those guys are kind of being annoying back there. Can I do something about it? I can use a call to slumber. And this should hit everybody. 4.35 meter radius. I'm gonna do it here. Yeah. Lovely, everybody went down except that guy. Did it reach? Yeah, it reached, just missed. Okay. I rolled a 1. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I almost have ogres and I'm gonna lay ogres over there. We can we can remove the slow modes because this fight is done. So you guys go over there. I'm still shooting that guy. He's near death. The border sign is just so good. Knock this guy down. Uh, the Grieving Mother isn't shooting anyone because reasons, so aim at the Ondrite. Okay, there we go. 
My ogres will make short work of Captain. Blah blah blah. He's dead. Really? You're going for my rogue? Oh, I see. I see how you want to play this. Can I pull you? Yes, I can. Screw you, bitch. No targeting my rogue. Oh, baby. Amplified wave. Okay, I'm taking damage from something. I'm gonna guess this buccaneer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get a pain block on my rogue. Uh, you thought I forgot about this spell? I didn't. <laughs> I just never use it. Okay. She's shooting people. Everybody has a job to do. You can go help out. Why not? Go for this one. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Sacre Bleu. And yeah, you see, this is the Heart of Fury, right? Heart of Fury. Okay, it only lasts like one second more, so I don't really care about it. Aim there. Okay, he stuns. Sacre Bleu. Everybody's dead. Dead. My ogres flashed around. Okay. Yeah. First bounty done. Anything special? An amethyst. What about the main guy? Ooh. Pliambo Percasitas. It's a unique arquebus. Plus 10 accuracy granted to an ally attacking the same target. Inflicts disorienting, which is quite good. And it's also an exceptional one. Okay. A charismatic yet nefarious valiant thief grew tired of stealing and decided to find a new way to entertain himself. He would get himself hired onto a ship and integrate himself with the crew. After a few voyages, he'd convinced the crew to mutiny, making sure to execute the captain with his own arquebus. Once the deed was done, he would abandon the crew to their fate at the next port and slip away, travelling to a new city to start the game again. Okay, sir. <laughs> Oops, I think I, I misclicked there. Yeah, this goes over here, this goes over there, this can go over here, and this goes over there. Okay. Hey. So yeah, first bounty done. Let's keep it going. I want to get these bounties done ASAP. I want to move on to, to bigger and greater things. Like DLCs and the endless pots. But the cool thing about these bounties as well is, as we just saw, you actually get some unique items, which is also quite cool. Okay, so the next target is the Madmar Bridge. I still have most of my spells and a lot of health left, so I can just keep going without resting. And I don't know, I guess nice these guys are quiet. probably around here or over there. We shall find out soon enough. Or are they on the bridge? No, they're not on the bridge. Probably up here. Yep, there they are. Okay. So, uh, what is this again? Oh, it's a slaver. It, it, it's just a, a normal fighter type, I guess. Slavers, Taskmaster, Rangers... I probably should have been a little bit more careful about this and try to look for the choke point, but I I don't think we're in much danger. Uh, I'm gonna get on, on top of this sniper to make sure he, he cannot really threaten anybody else. Okay, so fighter... So the slavers are fighters. This is my target, which is probably a fighter or a paladin. Priest... Uh, Looks like a mage, given that he has a rod, and this is a ranger, okay. So we're gonna go over there. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the face. You will shoot that guy in the face. You are gonna debuff first, and then buff. You're gonna buff. And you can join the fight. Well. Oh, there's more. Another sniper, okay. Let's see, I think you can go... 
Hmm. Yeah, you can. You can. Oh, you're stunned. Stunning shots. Rangers have stuns. Really? That's quite interesting. They don't last a long time, but that's cool to know. Okay, so I'm gonna go for a chill fog like around here. Okay, vigorous defense, please. This guy is going for Durance. But I think Kana can get up in time for this. Right? <laughs> no, you're, no. You, you're, you're moving way too close, my friend. Chill Fog's gonna be over here then. Am I paralyzed? I am paralyzed. I don't like that. Let's get a prayer against imprisonment. 4.66 meters. We're gonna go something like this. Try to hit everyone. The Taskmaster is getting hit by my rogue. So everything is fine. She is just about to shoot a stun target, so I expect big damage here. Ooh, cleansing flames is not good. Okay, we're gonna have to swap for this one. That's that's a dangerous spell. Let me see if I can bring him in. Oh, he swapped for the heal. Okay, good. The best defense is a good offense. He's gonna try and heal this guy instead of casting Cleansing Flame, which is much more dangerous. Okay, good for me. Let's get some accuracy, followed by a buff. I'm getting a Chill Fog. It's not gonna be that effective because people are kind of spreading around. And this is all because I don't have a proper choke point. My target is on top of me. I have 81 focus points, which is just glorious. Go for that. We have the Chill Fog up. What else could I have with a lot here that's gonna help? This is always good, a call to slumber. Yeah, well, let's get accuracy then. And then we'll go up. Oof, oof, massive. Maybe a petrification would be better. Like over here. It would hit a lot of people. So, let's get phantom foes as well. On this guy. No, on a, on a, a lesser guy. Like this priest here. Okay. So the Taskmaster is dead. I want to shoot the priest. There's another one. Oh, another. Okay, go for that one then. Okay, so. I guess petrification it is. We're gonna... Uh, 2.42 meters. Not that much. And this might look like a lot of enemies, but these are already knocked out. So I think probably here is best, and I can hit all three of these. Yeah, let's do this then. Oh, perfect, my main target is petrified. Really, man, you missed two? How? Oh. Okay, I should have debuffed more before I did that. I'm kind of disappointed. Let's aim at the petrified guy then, for some massive damage. You do that. You're gonna start booking on top of him for a lot of damage as well. And I'm gonna nuke as well, with an iconic projection here, because why not? No longer petrified, what a bitch. Well, in that case, I think I'm gonna go for a Shining Beacon, which also reduces defenses. Okay, over here. The Grieving Mother should be shooting this guy who's right in front of her. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Cleansing Flame. It's going for Kana, but it's gonna bounce. It's gonna bounce. So we're actually gonna move away from here. Okay, this should be good enough. So, do this over there. Book over here. Or actually not book, sorry. Call to slumber. Let's try and hit everybody in the area. So they stop doing dumb stuff. You hit this guy. You hit the priest. What? Uh, yeah, we 
because... Yeah, look at the damage he's taking. <laughs> okay, let's let's heal you up, my friend. Go for the Slaver. I almost have enough for some proper damage here. Okay, Eesh, everybody's unconscious. So, so good, man. Okay, book over here and then just hit. Okay, priest dead. My rogue did an awesome job. Focus on the other priest. I almost have enough for another amplified wave. Really? You knocked Durden's back and just went on your way? Okay. I'll take it. Awesome. Go for that. You are gonna go for the Taskmaster, who is still alive for some reason. Amplified wave again. And you shoot... And this guy. Awesome. He just got thrown again and stunned. Dead. Blown to pieces. Work on the sniper. And, and by the way, just a, a, a side note. You see this debuff over here, Bonded Grief? That's mostly the reason why I don't really play with Sagani, because her pet is so weak. In Path of the Damned, it, al it always dies. Probably it's just me not microwing him properly, but still. The pet is very likely to die, and then you just get a debuff on your ranger. Which, you know, sucks. Okay. <laughs> You're dead. Go for that. And there's one more sniper. Dead. Okay. Everything done. It, it, it was a bit of a messy fight, mostly because, you know, as usual, there's no choke point, so I can't really control where the enemies are. Ooh, I like that. And that's all. Ooh. Old Garen's Wall. Large shield. It's a superb large shield, and it converts hits to grazes, 10% of them. This might be a cool shield for... Um, well, really for either of them. Either Eder or Kana. Everyone in Bale Reach knew Garen as a grumpy old man with an inordinate fondness for beats and no patience for chit-chat. None knew him as the Adidan bruiser whose own troubled past had forced him to seek a fresh start in the colonies. So when Adidan soldiers marched into Bale Reach at the start of the War of Defiance, it surprised everyone when old Gerun joined the village defenders with a shield and sword and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Adidan forces, holding them back as well as any of his younger comrades. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna have to investigate this shield, or at least compare it to the one that Eder is using. Potion of Bulwark against the Elements. Ooh, this is also useful for Eder. When he starts tanking some dragons. Okay. So let's see. I'm actually just gonna start storing some stuff because I never use it. It's kind of a shame, but it's true. So just go away. Okay, so you go over there. And you go over here. And that's all, I think. Oh, and the, okay, I forgot. I also have the grimoires from the, the previous episode to look at. So let's compare this. 10% of hit, of crits converted to hits. Ah. Uh, I mean, I'm more likely to get hit than critted because I have very high defenses. And this one is a superb shield instead of exceptional. So I think that's the reason why I'm going to start using this one. Yeah, four more points of deflection. You have this one, which grants Harbinger. Ah, right, so people in two meter radius from Kana, they're gonna lose three accuracy. Uh, but this makes you have 106 deflection rather than 110. So yeah, that's perfectly, perfectly reasonable. This can go over here, this goes over there. Okay. Hey. Next bounty, my friends. I am going to rest, though, because my health is not looking very good. 
Um, so, the next target, this one I'm going to leave for last, is going to be Fomina, Wooded Plains, or Wooded Plains. So far, so good. None of these bounties have been very problematic. Okay, so, let me just clear this notification, that's okay. <clears throat> and... What are you? Ranger, that's a ranger. Okay. So we can just rest and keep these as our bonuses. And... I have a feeling she's here. For some reason I, I, I remember the location of the bound. She's better than many other things in the game. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> Never mind. They're not here, they're actually here. And again, this is going to be a very open fight. So I'm going to have to use Kana a little bit better. Okay, so they have Hunters, Elder Lions, Elder Bears. Following your lead. Fomina. None of these are particularly dangerous. We can just move in here. Okay. I'm guessing she's a ranger, he's a ranger. So if there's no spellcasters, this shouldn't be much of a fight. Okay, so go, go. Uh, you buff us up. And then debuff them. You buff yourself. We're gonna start shooting Fomina. You're gonna go for this one. Yes. Okay, there's three hunters. They're nothing special, honestly. Turn this on. You are buffed. Let's go for a chill fog over here. And this chill fog coupled with this amazing amplified wave should pretty much win the fight already. She got stunned by the Borosane. Awesome. Chill Fog is out. We're gonna start booking. Like here on top of Kana probably. And then just shoot. We have them all debuffed. The Amplified Wave sent everybody down pretty much. Let's but Where are you going dude? No, no. You shoot this. Or actually, Phantom Foes on the Elder Bear. Okay. Let's use some spells, why not? Let's get a Shining Beacon over here. Awesome. Okay, this guy is starting to go around for some reason. Uh, back up over there, back up over there. Where are you going? No, leave the Grieving Mother alone. Can you pull? You guys back up. No, bitch! <laughs> he runs fast! No! Uh, I need a pull! Okay, do this. You keep shooting her. She's almost dead. Shoot him. You... Uh, try to paralyze him. Never mind, he just died. Okay. Amplified wave again. Hit. Hit. Actually hit there. Hit there. Uh, we're gonna try and sacre bleu this area. That was unnecessary because they got knocked down. And this guy is knocked down. Easy kill. You go over here and start. Okay, never mind. Everything died. Okay, pretty cool. We lost some HP mostly because this bear went around my tanks and went for Aloth, but that's pretty much all that happened. Do you have something cool? You do have something cool. The Reign of Godak Field. It's a unique war bow. Superb and 20% attack speed. Nice. Man, if this uh, buff was on Borosane instead of recovering some endurance. God damn. <laughs> The Glenfeddan village of Godag uh, was surrounded by wooded plains that became a key battleground during the War of Black Trees. The few survivors of the slaughter then there remember a single Glenfaddan archer raining arrows on the Duke's forces, holding them back while the villagers of Godag fled. As flames swept the fields and spread the trees, 
Arrows flew still from beneath the blanket of smoke. Okay, so it's a cool weapon. I don't think anybody's gonna use it. Because I don't have any more archers. It, it could probably be a good weapon for Sagani though. If I were using her. Uh, I stashed it, right? Yeah, I did. Ah, goddammit, and I keep forgetting the Grimoires. Okay, <laughs> so in terms of Grimoires, what do I have? I have Iron Skin, which I don't really like. We have Flame Shield. I might as well learn this, because why not? Torrent of Flame. Uh, burn damage on everyone nearby, not just my foes. Don't like that one very much. Nina got's bitter mooring. Freeze damage and stuck and applies the same effect as target. This one could be cool. Might as well learn it. And this is a guilt grimoire. Okay, cool. And this can go away. And the sapper's tomes. Oh, they have malignant clouds. Nice man. I will take the malignant clouds. What is this? Oh, the staff. Right, right. And all of these are, are the same, I believe. Yeah. But this really is a very powerful combination. Call to Slumber plus the Malignant Cloud. This is a very good Grimoire to have. Uh, switch location target on the line. Uh, might as well learn this one as well. Okay. And I can store all of these. Is there something I want to swap, like on level 5? I like all of these things, but I've not been using the Wall of Force recently. This one can always be useful. Terrified. Terrified is a good debuff. Resolve and dexterity reduced by 4, accuracy reduced by 20. Do I want a debuff or do I want a passive raw damage cloud? I think I still prefer the debuff, unless I find a particular group of enemies that are very damage resilient and I might need the raw damage. Okay, so I like what I have right here. I'm not gonna swap anything. At most, I probably should have... Hmm. No, I'm also fine here. Level 2. I've not been using these spells at all. Is there something else I might want? Combusting Wounds. 5 burn damage over time when dealt damage. This can be a kinda funny spell, but I don't really use it. I mean, but it might be better than Bewildering Spectacle. Confuse. I already have Confusion. Yeah, let's do that. We'll take this one. And over here, I like what I have. At most, Spirit Shield could be better than maybe the Wizard's Double. Foe AoE, minus 10 will and dazed. Also not bad, possibly. Sorry, I'm just thinking about what I have. No, but I like my current spells. Okay, so, another bounty done. The next one, which is the final one, it takes place in Northworld. Okay, so let's go deal with this lady in Northworld. She's a druid, I'm afraid. <laughs> It's probably a scaled up area. But I, I don't even remember this fight. So I'm guessing it's not very troublesome. And I think she's hiding in the cave, right? Uh, yeah, we're using a cave in the north world. Okay. So this is the only cave there is, so it's gotta be this one. How bad? We are. Yes. Yeah, we're, hey. we're, we're well, we were, bleh, we, Jesus, we're well rested and well prepared for the fight. I shall be... I'm still gonna be careful because druids are druids, but I think we got this.
Mm-mm-mm. It's very quiet. Okay, Corruptor Druid. Mm. So I have some options. I could try and bring them over here, but I don't think that's going to be too, too much benefit. I think I'm going to try and send Eder in. Kind of berserker. Oh god, this was too early. I was going to say kind of berserker style. Just send him in. Try to get a clear out. See if I can knock some people back. And everybody else is going to stay in the back line. And then we're going to move in. Uh, and hopefully this works. Okay, so there's, there's a lot of druids. Every single thing over here is a druid. Oh, but I can't, I can't just do this, right? If she, if she dominates or if she petrifies, I'm gonna get screwed. Still, I, I'm gonna have to see. Okay, so there's a lot of summons and there's insect plagues and there are weakens. Okay, so I think I'm fine with this. Although these are aiming for Kana. Is Kana just gonna be a sacrificial lamb and just die? Perhaps. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna send him in. I'm gonna leave stealth so I can run away faster with my group so they don't get hit by the plague of insects. And let's hope for the best. Okay, so you go over there, knock this bitch down. They're still aiming at him. It's gonna suck. It is gonna suck. Quite badly. Wait, what hit you? Two grays, one hit, one crit? Come on. Look at the, uh, the AoE in this. It's so dumb. <sighs> so what's the damage here? 127 raw damage. It's almost an entire life. Yeah, you got hit, but we knew this already. Is Aloth hit? He is. Mmm. It sucks. It sucks. Okay, well. Let's do the best we can. Uh, I'm gonna use Mr. Durance here to give us a Suppress Afflictions. Or actually, how long does this last? It lasts 7.5 seconds. And this last set, okay, so same thing. So yeah, let's suppress this. Uh, I'm gonna buff up, I don't wanna risk this fight. It's already gone bad enough already. So let's just buff up properly here. You are doing your thing, you are doing your thing. I'm getting the suppression, you are just waiting. No. Okay. So we got suppression, shoot here. Look at the amount of garbage in the area. I kind of want to do a clear out, maybe in this direction. I think I'm going to hit these two. Wait, did you get interrupted or something? Why did you stop? Delatidis Lacrity of Motion and nothing else. So buff with this and buff with this, my friend. She can start shooting, you are shooting, you have buffed us up with that. Let's buff with some accuracy and damage and then we're going to debuff. Let's slow this down. Wait, what am... What is... What is it they're doing? Is he being knocked back? Oh god, that was a large hit. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff going on. I think the cleansing... Yeah, the cleansing wind knocks back. Interesting. This is actually not bad for me because they're all clumped up. Hmm, this, this might lead into something interesting. So, cancel the clear out, I don't want it. I do want the amplified wave. For some reason, you cancelled your... Oh, is it the insect? No. Because he's not even afflicted. Dude, what's your problem? Buff, man. Why don't you buff like I said to buff? Or... Hmm. Let's go for something different instead. We're gonna buff and then we're gonna get a cult slumber over here. Okay, this is strange. I don't I don't know why he's not um, 
queuing up his actions. But he's not queuing up his actions. Okay. Why are you stopping? <laughs> this is a very weird fight. I think the pushes kind of made everything weird. Okay, still. They're all clumped up over here. I'm gonna go for a call to slumber because I have all of my accuracy bonuses. Oh, now you have a plague of insects. Okay, it's still suppressed. So, call to slumber over here, it's everybody, which is awesome. Okay, good call to slumber, we... Oh no, this is not the call to slumber, this was the amplified wave? Wait, what happened? Why are people prone? No, yeah, it hit, okay, so it was the... Um, it was the amplified wave. <clears throat> Let's get phantom foes on top of somebody. You're gonna shoot that one. The call to slumber is coming out soon. I'm actually gonna move it there over here so I can cast some nasty stuff over there. Call to Slumber was cast. It hit everybody in the area. Yeah, man. Aloth with accuracy bonuses is a total beast. Okay, so. Chill Fog. And then I think I might as well just buff and start killing. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, there we go, the Chill Fog. You should heal. Uh, I'm also gonna get a Suppress Afflictions. Well, actually, you just cast that, right? Yes. Suppress Afflictions over here. And you are gonna get Suppress Afflictions over here. Because it's about to run out. Yeah, it's run out already. So, Aloth has cast his Chill Fog. Yeah, let's, let's buff with the Miner of Lights and then just start shooting. Okay, Suppress Afflictions is up. Did you not do what I told you to do? Dudens, why are you being... Oh, he can't move, that's why. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes, man, this game can be very annoying. Move back, go over there. Jesus. Okay, so suppress afflictions over here and then do this. Thank you. You have your minor blights? Yes, you do. So start hitting over there, maybe. These are almost dead. I want you to focus on that one, actually. Okay, you hit that, you hit that. Knock him down if possible. She can't. <laughs> Okay, so Suppress Afflictions is on my tank, so they are no longer being drained <clears throat> by the Insect Plague. Okay, dead, awesome, also dead. Yeah. Okay, so Aloth is just shooting over there, you're shooting over there, you're shooting over there. Okay. So this fight brought to you by Insect Plague. Because that's the only danger we faced here. Nothing else. Well, the knockbacks were kind of obnoxious, but... You know, getting it there or kinda knocked back doesn't really matter all that much. Well, because they, they, they weren't sent behind my backline, that is. Awakened Adra. A vibrantly hued piece of Adra, still humming with energy. Okay. And, what and I think that's all we had over here. And that's our final bounty completed. From, you know, this this batch of four. We're gonna go back to Cadnua while I drink some tea. <laughs> um, we're gonna complete all of these bounties and get the new ones. And take care of those as well. Uh, I guess I can exit here. I don't, I'm not. I'm not really sure if I've ever tried um, completing the bounties. You know, during the normal progression of the quests, because you could do these bounties a lot sooner. I'm kind of doing them mostly near the end of the main campaign, I could say. But I suspect that some of these might be a little bit tough. This one, for example, would be would be tough. I think. 
but the real gatekeeper, like I've said multiple times, it, it, it's just the the ogre quest. I cannot get over how how difficult <laughs> that ogre quest is, because the ogres knock you down in an AOE. They have tons of insect plagues. It's just so much chaos, so much damage, and they're also quite tanky. So it's very difficult to bring them down. And yeah, playing in Iron Man, I, I wouldn't face that Ogre Bounty before I did in this playthrough. I wouldn't go there before. Good day to you. Good hunting, I hope. What can I do for you? So, Fomin is no longer a problem. Here's a head. Oh, I heard a level up. Have to wonder what gets into kit like her. I'm glad to hear the matter's done with. Here's your bounty. And this is also another incentive to do the bounties, it's, it's that they they give you like a, a proper quest experience. Anything else? Galen Dalgard's slaving days are over. I've got his head. That's a piece of news that ought to help quite a few souls sleep a little better. Hope it brings our client some peace. Here's the payment. Okay, same thing. I'm here for the bounty on Devwen. Ah, good. Here's the bounty. Okay, so she wasn't worth... <laughs> A description and Captain Moarami or Moarumi has been dealt with. I'd wager a valiant sea captain singing your praises right about now. Well, here you are, as promised. Okay, and what are the most recent bounties? You've taken down some dangerous foes. Impressive work. Kith know they can count on you. I've still got a few more for you though, if you fancy getting your hands dirty again. Let's see. There's a pack of wizards with a price on their heads. Then there's another bounty offer from the Glanfaden tribes. And last one is going to be rough. Ever tangled with a Vitrak before? Yes, we have. <laughs> so tell me... Oh, note, there's only three now. I think these are the last three. Tell me about the wizards. Now, this one. Ah, looks like someone crossed the Dominels. High Arcanist Easley. She and the Cabal of Wizards are holed up in the tower in Heritage Hill. Okay. Tell me about the Glanfaden bounty. The bounty is for Narok the Prophet, a grandfather in exile. He was banished from his tribe for his uh, extreme views. Narok's a cipher, and it seems like he's taken an interest in an Inguithan site north of Gilded Vale, Silent Lees. Oh, this is like the, the initial area. Several tribes have pulled together the coin for his bounty. They say they don't want him tampering with some machine out there. Well, they're right. And I'm going after the Vitrak. Well, one of their exarchs, this Serkal, has turned up in Pearlwood Bluff with some of his kin. This offers unsigned, but it seems like someone doesn't want him sticking around. Okay, farewell. Everybody's leveled up. Well, let me see. And we actually got some 12,000 experience more than we needed for the level up. Really cool. Hey. Oh, and we completed some of the quests. The Celebrant's Dirge. Yeah, because I think completing quests advances the timeline of certain events. I think this goes by turns, the stronghold. The violent deaths of two Magronite priests at Evon Dur Bridge generated grief and outrage at Godhammer Citadel. It did not take long for Pelagini to discover that radical Red Serans were responsible. Two wizards had placed the curses that killed the priests, but they were backed by dozens of Red Seren veterans from the Saints' War. As the wizards had no interest in negotiating with Pelagina or the Magronites, a battle erupted, much of it running over the same fields that saw combat during the war. Oh god. In the end, the wizards were killed and the remaining Red Serens were routed. The priests that had died in the initial attack were buried near the bridge and the ceremonial gloves of the senior priests were given to Pelagina in thanks. Please let them be good. Celebrant's Gloves. 10% chance to cast Holy Meditation when hit or critically hit. What? Ooh. This is good. This is actually quite nice. I mean... It, it, it's not a guarantee. This one is also good. Plus 10% ability out of effect. These were once the gloves of a senior Magronite priest who was killed performing a traditional dirge at the Evon Dur Bridge to commemorate the destruction of St. Wydwen. 
After you helped root down the red Saturns were responsible, the remaining priests of Magran gave you his gloves. Okay. Hey. Well, we are here. I'm gonna pick them up. And, as you know, the level up will be left for the next episode at the start. <laughs> I'm gonna have to look over what we're gonna choose. I must say, I'm... I'm not sure if we're gonna get new spells. I'm level 12. Uh, I think the new spells come on odd level ups. So maybe I'm gonna get new spells. That would be awesome. That would be awesome indeed. Okay, so all of the bounties showing up over here. We're gonna get these gloves. And then we're gonna move, uh, probably take care of the wizards. Not sure if we're gonna take care of them in this episode. We're already near, you know, the usual time to end. <clears throat> but I will, I will at least go there. Okay, so I want this. I have some cool stuff over here. All of this is from the um, the building we built in our in our stronghold, and the turns passing. <laughs> Quite nice. Okay, so let's see. What gloves are you using again? Ah, the touch of rot. I've actually forgotten to use this. <laughs> I normally forget the. Um, I forget the. The usable items. Three per rest, spreading plague, hobbled and weakened. On six targets, and the touch of rot is corrode damage, and corrode damage over time. It's not bad. Hmm. Do I already have extra area of effect? I have chant area of effect. Damage reduction. Deflection. You also have a blunt... Oh no, you have this. Shouldn't you have a blunting belt, man? Wait, why don't you have a blunting belt? Oh, because you... Oh, okay, because you have this. This is an amazing cloak. Jeez, I don't remember where I got this, but this is amazing. Um, okay, so... I'm thinking, I'm probably never gonna remember this, and it doesn't even deal that much damage. So I, I prefer to go with something that's a passive bonus, you know, rather than something activatable. Because then I'll, I'll just forget about it and it's, it's, it's silly. Plus one to perception. Why am I using this? Wait, so... 10% AOE... If, if I gave these gloves to Aloth, I, I free up a ring slot for him. While this one needs both of his rings. What ring would I give you? This would be cool. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Um, because then this would do the role of the... <clears throat> of the ring, although this one probably isn't gonna trigger all that much, but if it does trigger, it's in a better spot. Because I want more concentration on my back line, not necessarily on my front line. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm gonna swap it again. Okay, so you can have these, and you can have these, and you can have this. Unless I find a better ring for you. Ugh, so much stuff, man. Now this is a necklace. Monk. Combusting wounds. Deflection. Deflection. I could also give him deflection now that I think of it. Um, this is a belt. Yeah, I don't actually have a lot of rings. Okay. 
Yeah, you can take this one. That's cool. Okay, nice. A tiny upgrade. And let me drink some more tea. And we're gonna go to, I believe, Defiance Bay. Mm. I must. No, we're not. God damn it. I keep forgetting, sorry. I need to pick up. I need to pick up camping supplies before I go. And I'm going to probably rest as well. Hail and well met. Uh, show me your wares. And you should have it in the end, yes. So give me two camping supplies. Thank you. We have 85,000 gold because we've also received a lot of uh, gold from the bounties. The bounties are just generally good to do. They're a good, they're a good challenge. They give you unique items, they give you a I'm lot of experience item, and they right? give you a lot of gold. But they can be deadly. <laughs> that's, that's the risk. High risk, high reward. Okay, so we're gonna rest. Uh, I'm gonna grab intellect as I usually do. And let me just double check this. So you are in the Heritage Hill Tower. You are in Pearlwood Bluff. I don't even know where this is. And you are in Silent Lease. Where is Pearlwood Bluff? What? Is there an area over here that I missed? So this is one. I have no idea. I'm kind of wondering if I missed an area over here because there's a road and there's a road. And I have some idea that I've usually missed an area around here in my previous playthroughs. I'm, I'll, I'll have to check. Okay, but right now we're gonna go for Heritage Hill. We're gonna get close to the tower and that's where we're gonna just park our characters and end the episode. But, you know, we're getting a lot of, a lot of bounties done. We're gonna get a new level and if I'm thinking about this correctly, we're gonna get um, new spells for our castles, which is gonna be amazing. So I'm very happy with our progress. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna park my, my characters over here. The next objective is going to be going inside the tower and dealing with High Arcanist Easily. Hopefully, uh, it's a she, right? Yeah. Hopefully she has a nice grimoire for Mr. Aloth to have some fun. We're gonna finish up all three of the last bounties. I believe they're the last bounties. Then we're gonna complete... Um, we're either gonna complete the quest for Helia's Nest or we're gonna go back to the endless parts of Odnua. I'm gonna have to decide. In any case, thank you so much my friends for being here with me on the channel watching some Pillars of Eternity. I hope you guys are having fun. If uh, you guys have any questions, suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment below. If you are liking the content, consider subscribing. There's videos coming out every single day and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe everyone.